Welcome to a short video. Now, I've been using Blender for a lot of my thumbnails recently, but I found out that you can use Blockbench, and the Blockbench is pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice. So, we're here on this here, this desktop, you know, <laughs> and we can open the web app if you don't want to download it. So, you won't be seeing this screen. Um, I already opened it, and this is not what it's gonna look like, but it will look like this for you if you intend to use this more than once. You can either open a model here, uh, Java blocker item, bedrock model, modded entity, obdefined entity, or Minecraft skin. Now, if you wanna pose with your um, with your skin or something in your thumbnails, in your uh, in any photos you wanna to give to people, you can do that. You can get a Minecraft skin right here. And now, if you go here, right, you can also input your texture. You can search up a skin site, and I would recommend this one called namemc.com and we can search up my name legging <laughs> so there we go we got that that's my current skin yada yada we do have an optifine cape and a regular cape <laughs> so what we can actually do is uh go to the skins go to the recent one download it and it will show up downloaded now if you don't want to confuse yourself you can also rename it. And there we go. So now we go back to the web app of Blockbench. And we can choose that file and use it. We can also have the layer texture. And this is what it would look like when you're coming in to this program. I honestly don't know how you can change uh, how you how you move, but uh, in the case of Blender, this is well, holding down right click and dragging. This is holding down uh, left mouse and dragging, and this is using the scroll wheel. So this is the Blender stuff. Uh, if you're not used to Blender, this is how it usually goes. Um, but yeah, you can see on the right hand side here, you can actually activate all the layers that you would normally want to activate, right? So you can do that if you want to. Now, you do pose. So you're in this pose mode now, and you can actually pose your character however you want. Right here. Although it doesn't have any of the any of the squishy limbs. <laughs> I know a lot of people like the squishy limb stuff. I personally don't. But you can also you can just move things around. It'll show you the before and after that. Then you can move your frame around, right? Um let's have me doing some kind of like <laughs> let's have me clasp my arms together. Okay, that is a weird one. Okay. Maybe we should not do it like that and have that go like that. We're going to move our legs as well. I don't know if you can move a place on your body. Oh, that's, uh, that's very weird. <laughs> but you might be able to do more in the app, but we got a little pose going on. I don't know what this pose is. <laughs> Looks like I'm about to go free diving, but you can also move yourself in the frame, do whatever you want here. And, you know, looks like I'm <laughs> it looks like I'm being handcuffed right now. Um, but then you can go to preview and then you can uh, you can screenshot the model if you want to. Now, this will have a lot of the model inside, right? You'll have the model fully inside this box here. If you keep your uh, screenshot model out of frame it will <laughs> it will cut you off but it will try to put the whole model in the frame if you still have it in the frame right so we can just do it like that do a little band here step like this Gotta get the feet in the frame zoom out a little <laughs> then we can save it right save it as file we'll see it here it's a png and you can see that uh you see the checkerboard pattern in here right and it's not there because that's the transparency layer. And you can see here, this is all transparent. If you want to bring it into Photoshop, we can do that right quick. Bring the file in. And you can see that we are transparent, right? That we've got transparency and it's pretty, um, it's pretty high definition, you know? We can zoom in with Alt and scroll wheel. It's got, it doesn't have that too much aliasing, but you can always get a better frame here. But yeah, we can make a thumbnail like this. You can always import it here 
and this is an easy way to get yourself a Minecraft poser and put it for the thumbnail, right? Yeah, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit more difficult in Blender, I would say. <laughs> but um, as you do more of this, you'll probably get used to it and it's free. So this is why I want to recommend it. It's easy and free. So have a good day. Good night, good life. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.